That's the one. Space Cadet is a movie about a, a millennial woman, me, named Tiffany Rex Simpson. And she feels like she has not lived up to her potential, so she decides to try to get into the NASA space training program. And, you know, what could go wrong? <laughs> It's about, it's kind of like our generation's Legally Blonde, except with NASA, and instead of with prep school girls, it's Florida girls, who are like, you know, 10 bar, who wrestle gators, who, my character's perpetually pregnant, which I'm not saying is a Florida stereotype, I'm just saying that I, Poppy, was pregnant during the shoot, and so my character, therefore, was pregnant the entire movie. Um, but yeah, it's like sort of like the person you never would expect achieving these wild dreams. Um, and I think we just haven't had a movie like that in a minute. So I really think it's going to be like the movie of the summer, if you will. I play Captain Jack Mancini, Air Force Arizona. Um, I am a father of two little girls who um, are coming of age, and it's frightened me to join Space Camp. I've driven, it's driven me away. But uh, no, the movie's amazing. It's um, a completely female-driven film. Liz Garcia's written an unbelievable script, and I'm just honored and humbled to be a part of it. It is uh, Legally Blonde Goes to Space. So that's how we that's how we build it. I think it's one of the funnier, funniest movies I've been a part of, and uh, it's, a, it's a really good time. I think I, so I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, and I don't think I realized that being an actor was a, an actual logical career move. Because I didn't know many people in Louisville, Kentucky that did that. But I do think I secretly always wanted to be in comedy. I used to be obsessed with Carol Burnett and Saturday Night Live, especially those seasons when women were really dominating Molly Shannon and Sherry O'Terry. So I, I, I always wanted to be an actor. And now I'm living my dream, which is kind of the premise of this movie. message of the film is that it is never too late to pursue your dreams and that if you have a gift it doesn't matter if everyone is telling you you're crazy to try to honor it and pursue it you should do it anyway basically the movie is about a girl who decides to follow her dreams to try and become an astronaut you know and that's what this is all about you know that it's it's a feel good movie that you should, everyone should follow their dreams oh massively yeah huge collaboration like from my first meeting with Liz i remember thinking like how much of a team effort this was going to be you know and uh, that's the way she runs things on set you know it's a very collaborative process and i just really enjoyed the whole thing it was great piece you know and so and we still have um, a little group chat that we have the ask cans which is a little movie joke for anyone that is watching and yeah I think we're still really tight we're going to each other's shows a lot of us are theater performers we're all from a lot of us are from New York so the support is really vibrant I honestly feel really, really blessed to have worked with this cast and crew. It's, this is like one of my first like big features, um, and a lot of the other Azkans and I got really close during filming. Uh, we have a group chat that we've had since day one. We've really come together, like support each other in other projects and things yeah. since we have dinners. Uh, so I feel really blessed that some of my castmates have become some of my really good close friends. Um, so I feel really, really lucky. So we had a great time collaborating. So I hope that how much fun we had making this comes across when you guys see the film. It was so much fun. We got to spend three weeks down in Alabama, which um, is a beautiful state. I've never been. Um, but we got to spend time at the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And um, it was great because it's an actual spa place where space camp happens. And um, it, was, it was so much fun to spend three weeks down there. And this movie um, was with a great crew and a great cast. It rekindled my love for a, a good fitted jumpsuit. Um, and I think that's what I really took away from this whole experience. I'm going to start wearing jumpsuits again. It's about uh, maintaining a, a faith in yourself and, a, and, and keeping your dream alive from youth and, uh, and not, uh, not, not convincing yourself that, that 
that at any point those dreams are dead or unattainable or that, that it's too late to, uh, to, uh, pers to pursue a goal. So I think that's it. It's about, it's about just believing in yourself and, uh, and, and achieving what you think you might not be able to. One more time.